Hey everyone, this is Michael coming at you again. I know I said that I was kind of not really big about doing unboxing videos and reviews because I feel like that should be left to the professionals. And this was an item that I couldn't pass up the the uh, thought of doing a review to. So it's kind of an interesting thing. And some of you who follow my off-road passport page know, or my Instagram know, that I just recently upgraded to the Spider Automotive projector headlight assemblies in the Jeep and I'm still using the halogen bulbs and one of them's going out so I thought I'd try something new and bought a pair of LED headlights. I know that the last couple of generations have had some issues being that they weren't very bright and I've kind of kept my eye on them for the last couple of years as they've sort of grown up so to speak and these ones here have some interesting features, being that they only use 36 watts, and they're supposed to be... Um, these ones in particular are for the 9005-9006 bulb, which the Jeep uses in high beam and low beam. Well, it uses the 9006 size bulb for the low beam. And... Uh, it's this one in particular is supposed to be rated for thirty thousand hours, which is pretty impressive. It's also supposed to be IP sixty five certified waterproof, and it's supposed to put out somewhere around thirty six hundred lumens of light, which is much higher than my uh, my typical halogen bulb being like eight eight hundred to a thousand lumens of light. So let's go ahead and pop it open here. These are by a company called Car Rover. These ones are supposed to be brand new. Let's take a look, and you've got some instructions here, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the actual bulbs. Those are quite big, aren't they? Let's see if these fit. Hopefully they do. Yeah, quite a bit bigger than I thought. Um, these are a lot sturdier than some of the ones that I've seen, too. So I guess we'll go out to the Jeep and, uh, and see if these fit. I apologize for the wind, but it, we're out here at the Jeep now, so let's go ahead and disassemble this. And then take a look at the old halogen bulbs and see how they compare to the new LED bulbs. There we go. All right. So here we've got the old halogen low beam with the new LED low beam. As you can see, it's quite a bit larger. Of course, you have to make sure you can accommodate accommodate for the extra the extra beef, I guess you could say, and of course the heat sink in the back. So let's go ahead and install this and see what happens. worried about touching this because I know this is the bad bulb anyway so we'll just set that off to the side and you just have to line up the three different prongs here no oh, it looks like it's gonna fit just fine oh well that was actually a lot easier than even putting in the halogens and it clips on just like that we'll go ahead and see if it works now Make sure that this is gonna pop together. You can tell there's a quite a bit more heft to this than there was before. The extra weight of the new bulb. These supposedly will not work with um, vehicles that have CAN bus, which is 2005 and Ford. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this back in, and I'll be back right back with you. Once again, I apologize for the wind, but I noticed something about this. You notice that the wire comes out of the bottom. Because of that, I have to make a slight modification to the header panel right in there. You can see that fold of plastic right there. If I can get it to focus. 
I guess not. Anyways, so this little guy right here, I've got to cut right across here with the Dremel to get it to fit. I mean, that's not a huge sacrifice, but hey, 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 hey. There we go. That's not a huge sacrifice by any means. These two appear to be brighter. We'll see in a minute. Ah. I don't always accidentally move my camera tripod, but when I do... Quick little slice across there. I guess the trick here is just not to hit anything with the rotary tool. And that's all I really have to take off to fit these in. So I guess it's not that bad. All right, we tuck the different headlight wires in the back of the header panel like so. Until we get to a point where we can give it a tiny little push. And it's in. And then we've got three different points that should pop into their respective areas like so. All right, so they're both on, they're both working. I can't really tell you yet if they're in any way, shape, or form brighter than the halogen just because it's daytime. We'll come back out here tonight and see for sure. But just giving it a first glance, it seems to be brighter by quite a bit. So we'll see. I'll see you then. So I had the GP and it's quite a bit darker. You can see, they're pretty darn bright. I would say they are brighter than the stock halogen bulbs. And uh, a couple interesting notes is how the ref what you can see the reflector uh, play, but it also throws across the reflector as well. Um, doesn't seem to be too big of a problem though. So overall, we will see how these do in the long run. I guess that's the big question is how do they last?